Well, hello and welcome to the Lockhart Radio Podcast. I am your host, Felicia Lockhart, and today we're looking at a $300 million lawsuit for a hospital where an RN is accused of replacing fentanyl with tap water. Go and freaking figure. Heh. Let's get right into the story. So in Metro, Oregon, attorneys representing both living and deceased patients of an Oregon hospital filed a $303 million lawsuit against the facility on Tuesday after a nurse was accused of replacing prescribed fentanyl with non-sterile tap water and intravenous drips. The wrongful death and medical malpractice complaint accuses Asante Rogue, a regional medical center in Medford, of negligence. The suit says the hospital failed to monitor the medication administration procedures and prevent drug diversion by their employees, among other claims. A spokesperson said the hospital had no comment. Dana Marie Schofield, I think it's Donnie, D-A-N-I, Marie Schofield, an RN, and a former nurse at the hospital was arrested in June and charged with 44 counts of second-degree assault. The charges stem from a police investigation into the theft and misuse of controlled substances that resulted in patient infections. She has pleaded not guilty. Schofield is not named or listed as a defendant in the complaint filed on Tuesday. A separate lawsuit was filed against Schofield in the hospital earlier this year on behalf of the estate of a 65-year-old man who died. The 18 plaintiffs in the new suit include nine patients and the estates of nine patients who did pass away. According to the suit, the hospital began informing them in December that an employee had replaced fentanyl with tap water, causing bacterial infections. Quote, all plaintiff patients were infected with bacterium uniquely associated with waterborne transmission, the complaint says. All of the plaintiffs experienced mental anguish, according to the suit, which seeks millions of dollars in damages for medical expenses, lost income, and the pain and suffering of those who passed away. Medford police began investigating late last year after hospital officials noticed a troubling spike in central line infections from July of 2022 all the way through July of 2023 and told the police they believed an employee had been diverting fentanyl. Fentanyl is a powerful synthetic opioid that has helped fuel the nation's overdose epidemic, but it is also used in legitimate medical settings to relieve severe pain. Drug theft from hospitals is a long-standing problem. Well, folks, let me know down below what you think about that. I think it's absolutely terrible that something like that, <clears throat> excuse me, would happen. But I'd like for you to share with us what you think down below and make sure that you do not forget to hit the like button. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button. And then if you have the ability, please don't forget to share. For Headlines with a Voice, this has been the Lockhart News Brief. The Lockhart Perspective.